Welcome back to Clicking Keys. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Learning to Apple Script. In this episode, we'll focus on how to determine if an application is scriptable and how to use its dictionary to know what you can tell it to do. So the first thing we'll do is jump into Script Editor and open the File menu and go to Open Dictionary. Once we've done this, we'll see a list of scriptable applications that exist on our computer. We can now scroll through this list and look for any application we might be interested in scripting. For the example today, I'll be picking Pages. This will open the Pages dictionary, and now we can look through the dictionary to find out what types of things we can tell Pages to do. So now that I'm in the dictionary, if I click Pages Suite, I can see all of the commands and classes specific to Pages. This will give me an idea of the types of things I can do within Pages. For example, I can make an object. This could be a new document or a new page or any other object that Pages is aware of. Within the make command, we'll notice a couple items that are surrounded by square brackets. Items surrounded by the square bracket are optional arguments. You don't have to include them in your statement when you write it. You'll also notice at the bottom of this command, there's a right arrow indicating what the command will return. In this case, it's going to return the new object you've created. This gives you a reference that you can use to access that item in your next steps of your script. I highly recommend that you click through the dictionary and explore the different classes and commands that are available to you so you get a better idea of what you're able to do. The dictionaries are also searchable, so up in the top right corner I can type in make and search for the same command that I found earlier in order to learn more about it. Okay, so now let's use the dictionary to create a simple script against pages. We'll reference the dictionary to figure out how to write a few of the different commands that we want to write in order to create our script. So we'll start with the make command that we looked at earlier to learn how to tell pages to make a new document. We'll also use that command to tell pages to make a new page within that document. We'll start our script with our onrun handler, then we'll add a tell application pages to specify that we're going to send commands to the pages application. From there, we can start writing our new make command that we're reading from our dictionary. Because we can see in the dictionary that it's going to return the object that I've created, I'm going to capture that in a variable by saying set my doc to. That will store the reference to the new document in that variable for me to use later on. So now I've created two lines of code using the make command that we read in our dictionary. One to make a new document, and then another one to add a second page to that document. Now that we've told Pages to create a new document, let's save that document to a new file on our computer. To do that, we'll use the save command that I found in the dictionary. Now that we've written the code, let's click the play button to see the results. Now when we look on our desktop, we see our new sample.pages file, and inside that file we'll see that it has two pages. Okay, let's add a little bit more code to our script. We'll use the dictionary to find the close command, and let's add that to our script to tell it to close the document after it's saved it. So now I'll follow the dictionary and add close my document, saving no. The saving no portion is not really necessary because I just saved my document, so I could close it without being prompted about saving, but I'll add it anyway just for good practice. Lastly, we'll add one more command to our script and we'll just tell pages to quit when we're done. Now we'll test our script one last time. We'll uh, click the play button, we'll watch it create the new file, and double check that Pages has quit when it is finished. That'll do it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel for future updates. See you in the next video.